if you guys have dogs at home, check these toys out. The ones that have a little, as you can see, he's obsessed with it, but the ones that have the spikes on it, that one is from Pet Supplies Plus, but they're at Petco, PetSmart, everywhere. Every dog that plays with this is obsessed. I'm telling you guys, you need to check it out. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicola, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I don't know what came over me this week. I have just been in the mood to shop, so I've bought a lot of stuff for me personally. This might not be a lot to you, but this is a lot to me. If you guys are new to my channel, I am typically really conservative with my purchases, with makeup especially. I'll leave it on a list for like a month, and if I still want it, then I'll buy it. But this week, I've just been like, oh, I want that, I'm gonna get it. I want that, I'm gonna get it. I am stressed out, okay? I think I might be diving a little bit into the whole retail therapy thing this week. I also just, I'm about to have a birthday and I've just been like, you know what, treat yourself, you deserve it. So I have just compiled a lot of stuff and I thought it would be super fun to share it with you. So we're obviously in a different setup today. I'm in my living room where I typically do my natural light videos. I do have my lights in front of me so you guys can see what I'm doing because it is Friday night, which is why you're going to hear some honking. It is Chicago. You're going to hear some ambulances, some cop cars so it's going to be noisy i've got george sleeping right here i've got the cats running around so there's going to be some noises but it's a friday night and we're going to chill out together and get through all of this stuff so if you are interested in a fun little clothing and makeup and home stuff kind of haul go ahead and keep watching i don't know about you guys but my cats love plastic bags so much so you're probably going to hear that crinkle every once in a while theo you're so cute do you not want to just snuggle this face oh all right i'm going to try my best to get through these rather quickly you guys know i am a talker i've always been a talker but i'm gonna try to go fast and just kind of give you guys the high level thought on most of this stuff but you know me i'm gonna probably go down a tangent one or two or three times but anyway we've got the first thing right here it is these slippers from pottery barn i think these are the cutest in the world i've had these in the past but george is on a raw food diet and I accidentally spilled some of the raw food in the like fur here and that was nasty so I threw them away so I repurchased them because they finally came back on their site for some reason I think in the summer not for some reason it's because it's the summer they take these off but they always bring them back around this time of year I have the matching robe to these as well it's so cozy it's so comfy it's like towel material and then very fluffy soft fur the inside is really soft it's got like a hard bottom obviously a rubber bottom so it's not like cushy down there but they're just good quality slippers get these on sale you guys West Elm Pottery Barn William Sonoma all those people always do sales so always wait for a sale do not purchase anything there full price ever unless like it's gonna sell out and you think you need to like the Tati pellet today I it may have sold out by now but I like threw that in my cart and was checked out by 1201 and they went on sale at 12 like I was just like I don't even know how much I paid with shipping to be honest which again I'm just like I don't care I want to buy it I don't know when this is gonna stop hopefully it's gonna stop soon if you tell me I need something I'm probably gonna buy it but these are just great but wait till they go on sale I think I got these for like $19.99 and then with shipping it was like 25 something like that so wait till these go on sale I think that's a fair price for these and they are so comfy you will love them and then check out the robe as well because I love that robe it's such a nice warm cozy robe I love it all right next up I purchased these leggings from Athleta this is my first purchase from Athleta I'm typically a Lululemon girl I know they're expensive like trust me I think Athleta has the same kind of return policy but for Lulu I know their stuff is very expensive but they stand behind their products like I had one of my zip ups the zipper broke like five years after I purchased it and I brought it back and they were like we can either repair it and send it out or you could pick out one in store that's comparable and just take it which is amazing so yes you're paying a lot more money up front but your products are gonna last way longer and if anything does happen they're gonna replace them but anyway Athleta I've never purchased anything from them but I saw these leopard leggings on like one of their emails and I wanted them so bad I did wait they go all the way down to the ankle by the way I did wait about two weeks to purchase these and then finally I got a 20% off again so see I'm still like I'm spending money but I'm getting a deal um, but they sent me a 20% off coupon and I was like okay I've got to get them and then of course I used Ebates as well if you guys don't know what Ebates is this is not sponsored I know they do sponsor YouTube videos but 
I'm not a big enough YouTuber for that. Um, you can shop online through their website. It's it, you're not like signing up for things through their website. You end up signing into whatever website like you're going through Ebates. I don't know how it works. I think they take some kind of commission off of it, but you get money back for your purchases. So it's awesome. Check out Ebates. I'll leave a link down below. If you don't use that, you need to because you are leaving money on the table. Nothing is worse than leaving money on the table, but I thought these were so cute. They're so soft. They're very lightweight. So I'm used to like the Lulu pants which are a little thicker than this so we'll see how I feel about that but I think they're super cute and I think it's, it'll just be cozy to kind of wear on the weekends and stuff like that. These were $89 but again I got the 20% off. I got a size small, haven't tried them on yet. If I can insert a picture here, I don't really have a full length mirror to be able to insert pictures of me wearing these things. I'm going to buy it. That's one of the things on my list. I just can't get it into my car. I have like a little sedan. So once I can find a car that I can put a full length mirror in, I will get that and I'll start taking pictures in there. Okay, next up, you know you cannot go into Target and not get like more than one thing when you're going in for one thing, you know what I mean? That happens to everybody, right? If you can go into Target and only buy the one thing you need, please comment down below and let me know because I need to know how you do that. So I went in for paper towels and I ended up not even getting the paper towels, of course. I ended up with all this other junk, so not junk. I like it. It's not junk, but it's... I ended up spending $80 on this stuff. So anyway, first things first, I got this hat. This is from that brand, A New Day, and it's $19.99. Let me just put it on so you guys can see it. Well, this is what it looks like off. I've been dying for a floppy, like, camel brown hat. This is exactly what I had in mind. I don't know why I'm spinning it like that. It's Friday night. It's been a week, y'all. So anyway, it looks like this. Let me just tuck my ears back because if you have big ears, you know, but... This is what it looks like. I've been just really, really wanting a hat like this, and I think it fits my head pretty well. I have, like, the same hat, basically, in black. I don't remember where I got that from, but I think it's so cute. I think I'm actually going to wear this on my birthday with the other thing that I got, but just a typical felt, you know, type of hat. Um, it does have a little leather tie. Well, it's probably fake leather, but tie thing right there which I think is really cute too so if you guys have been in the market they had this in black as well and for $20 that's not bad did this cost $20 to make heck no it's just a little bit of like felt but I think it's really cute okay note to self do not put a hat on in the middle of a video because your hair is gonna look like butt but next up we have another thing from a new day I think that's like my favorite target clothing brand at least it's this guy right here, so it's kind of like um, a mock neck, right? I think that's what this is called, but it's just an oversized sweater that's kind of like, it's coming off a lot more white on camera. It do, it's a little more ivory in person, but it's kind of like corduroy material, you know what I mean? It feels like corduroys, which I, I don't know if I'm going to love that. It's going to get warm, I know that for sure, but I saw a picture of like somebody wearing the faux leather Spanx, which I love. I wear those like all fall long. And I thought this would be really cute with it, especially because it is pretty long. I got a size small, but I am thinking I should have gotten an extra small because it's pretty dang oversized, but I wanted it to be cozy and comfy and not like restricting on like my butt at all. I That's typically where things start to kind of get a little tighter on me like the butt the thigh area so I just wanted to be sure but I can always exchange it for a small if needed but it's so soft and it feels so cozy definitely different for me with the corduroy material but I think I'm gonna love it they had it in burgundy as well and I think like navy blue again $24.99 so I think that's a really good deal and then I was thinking of pairing this with it so like I said it's very oversized so I kind of like the look of like layering so I just got one of their plain black is this from a new day as well well, yeah, it is. <laughs> this is just a, a plain black long sleeve tee. This was $10. They had these in a number of colors, but I thought I would wear this. I got this in a small as well, which seems like it's going to be a little bit oversized, but it's just like a regular plain black tee from them. It feels really good. It's a really good weight. I like the stretch of it. I think it's going to be really cozy. I think I'm going to be grabbing for this a lot and probably going back for more of them. Target basics are so good, so affordable. They're not going to like last 
last forever, but like for $10, I can deal with that. And then you get the discount, obviously, if you have like a red card, which I do. So that helps as well. But I wanted to wear this under the sweater with the faux leather leggings. And then I want to wear the hat with it as well. I think that'd be super cute. I'm going to, I'm not like planning anything for my birthday at all, at all. But like if I go to a dinner or something like that, I know I'm going to go to a couple dinners. I thought that would be like the ultimate cozy, comfy, I'm like trying but not trying too hard kind of like birthday fall outfit. You know what I mean? All right, next up and super random. I know this is loud and noisy. It's because it's silverware, okay? I have been on the hunt. Again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle down here. I usually show that right in the beginning of my videos, but I like to kind of highlight it again because I'm sure like if you're new here, you're like, do I want to follow you? I don't know you. If you like me, give me a follow on there. If you don't, don't tell me you don't like me because that's really upsetting. But anyway, follow me on there because I share a lot of things on there as well. And I recently shared these. Let me just show you one of them. This is the cutest silverware in the world. I've been on the hunt for that, but I didn't want to like break the bank. Like West Elm has gold silverware and it's like so expensive. This is from this brand on Amazon, Home Lux theory and I think these this came in a set of two you could choose a set of one or two and I got the two and I think it was around 40 bucks set of one which is somewhere around 20 obviously math but this quality is so nice I just got them so I'm not sure if they're gonna like last a long time the reviews were amazing they came in gold this is rose gold but it looks kind of copper which I love a copper kitchen touch like I want an all white kitchen with like copper touches I think that's so pretty I live in an apartment right now so my kitchen doesn't look like that but anyway these are so cute I love how it kind of comes to like a, a point on the tip and again just the color is beautiful they feel great they're not too heavy I love the shape of the spoon like it's such a round shape you guys can see my lighting there I just think these are so cute so it came with two spoons oh I grabbed three I have these in the dishwasher waiting to be washed, but I think it came with two spoons, the little spoon, the big spoon, big fork. There was a little fork. I meant to grab the little fork instead of the spoon, but YOLO. Um, and then the knife. I think the knife is so cute too. Look at him. But I think these are great quality. If you guys are in the market, check these out. It also comes in a matte black. I was torn between this and the matte black, but I ended up going with this, which I think I like, but I might end up purchasing the matte black as well. So again, Super affordable, quality is there. I think they're gonna be fantastic. All right, I'm like way too lazy to walk downstairs right now and get my package, but I'll just put it right here. I picked up this coffee maker from Costco. You guys, the struggle with purchasing a new coffee maker for me is so real. I feel like everyone has something bad to say about coffee makers unless you're getting into like the Nespresso's, which like everyone seems to love. But like I don't want an espresso every day. I want like a coffee and I want to be able to make a pot old school like that. But I picked this one up from Costco because it was like I think 60 bucks between 60 and 70 and Cuisinart is a really good brand. I think... I've had friends who have had this or comparables and I thought for that price it was really good and again Costco is really good with their return policy like if anything happens I don't know what the time frame is but within a certain amount of time like they'll take it back so really like their return policy I think I'm gonna like that coffee makers are just something that you need to repurchase kind of often I feel like if you use it every day and trust me I am using my coffee maker every day so I picked this one up I'm hoping I'm gonna love it I'll give you updates on all these things but I'm just too lazy to go downstairs and get it right now. <laughs> All right, next up is the makeup stuff. So I have these on right now. These lashes are the Kiss Blooming Lash Multi-Layered Effect in Peony. So this is the package that's not going to help you. You probably just want to see my eyes. But I thought these were so pretty, and they seriously are for hooded eyes. They're not too long. They do give you that, like, separated effect. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know I'm kind of far right now. It gives you that separated effect, but it's still kind of spiky and chunky. It's like everything I wanted in a lash. They are a little longer on the outer corners. I prefer it to be a little bit longer in the center and then kind of taper off in the outer corner. That's just personal preference, but I love these. They're so comfortable. They were so dang easy to get on my eyes as well. A lot of times I have a really hard time with lashes like bending and getting all over the place. And if you have hooded eyes, you know you don't have a lot of space there. So it's got to be like the right lash. And these are the right lash. I'm definitely going to be purchasing these again. They're so comfortable. When I look up, 
Well, I guess when I blink it hits a little bit, but a lot of times when I look up lashes just hit like my hood too much. These don't do that. I love Kiss Lashes in general. They're just, they're like my favorite lash brand in the world. So pick these up. I'm already using them. I think these were like $3.99 too at CVS, which is a really good price for lashes. Okay, so more CVS stuff. So this is a really random coincidence, but I went into CVS like I think on Monday or Tuesday and I picked up the Revlon Randed. I don't know, I'm mixing words, long day. The Revlon Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation and the concealer as well. I want to do a video of like makeup YouTube has like influenced me to buy and this is I've seen all over and for some reason I just haven't wanted to purchase it but I did so I this is the foundation that I have on today and I really like it I think it's really pretty I am a little dry if you couldn't tell I'm kind of sick so I'm a little dry in these areas from blowing my nose and stuff which is my only like mm. but anyway I picked these up and I'm really happy I did the wand on this is so interesting it kind of prevents you it's like kind of slanted backwards it kind of prevents you from like putting on too much at once which I think is a really good thing in this world so I picked these up and they were pretty affordable it was like I wouldn't get one half off and they were around like $10.99 Theo's giving himself a bath if you're wondering what that noise is but Oddly, I walked into CVS again today and I saw this. This is the Revlon Candid Glow. So I did play with this, but then I took it off because I wanted to play with the original first and I really did like this as well. So maybe I'll do like a half and half of this because I didn't know that they came out with this version and I think a lot of people will like that. It's already like a hydrating foundation, although this is pretty matte, the first one, the regular one that I got. It's not like I mean, I shouldn't say it's matte because it's not matte. It's kind of a nat, like they said, it's a natural finish for sure, but this is more glowy and you can definitely see that. So I'm happy I have this as well. It's strange because it's, the colors are totally different, but they both seem to match me pretty well. I got 150 for their regular one and then for the glow, I got 120. So I like it. I'm not like in love with the concealer, but again, we'll do a full video on that. It's kind of dry, but you guys know I am so loyal to the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Nothing compares to that. So I'm excited about these purchases and expect a full foundation like wear test review on that soon. I also picked up the Physicians Formula Eye Booster. I got the Waterproof Ultra Fine Liquid Liner in Blackest Black. I love the packaging on this. It's like little water drops everywhere. I think that's such a cute touch, but you guys told me to get this and I am so happy you did. This truly is such a good liner. This is the first liner that's really been able to get between my lashes. I have like two layers of lashes. I don't know why I, I don't know if it's from like wearing fake lashes or what but it is so hard to get in between those hairs like nothing gets in there and this did it's so black it hasn't transferred at all I think it is so pretty you can really get a fine wing with this so thank you so much for recommending this so many of you recommended this I know uh, Taylor recommends this all the time as well I don't know why I haven't purchased it because I really trust her but love this go pick this up of all these things go run to your store and pick this up you guys truly do know the best of the best when it comes to makeup I know you guys watch YouTube just as much as I watch YouTube I want to do like a poll on my Instagram and like tr test all the makeup that you guys recommend but I don't like usually get enough of a response on that so I'm not sure if I have enough of a video but let, let me know down below what your guys favorite product is and then let me know on Instagram as well if I do do that poll I think maybe I'll wait until I get a little bit of a bigger Instagram following to do that I don't know but that is a video I definitely want to do at some point but next thing I purchased is the NYX three step to sculpt I've seen so many people talk about this on YouTube and I've just never purchased it but then Brianna Fox was using it and uh, it like made me want to get it especially for this contour color so I used it today to contour and you guys can probably tell I have like definite like cheekbones today but this is really really pigmented and the contour color if you're a little more on like the fair side these do come in different colors they have like a fair light medium and I think they have a deep as well but if you are fair like I am this worked really well and she is so pigmented I didn't love the highlighter because it's very glittery I do have the highlighter on that's what's right here it's a little too glittery for my liking I like more of like the like you know wet looking skin not glittery um, and then I didn't really try the like pinky white to like set under the eyes or anything like that and I don't like 
chisel out my cheekbones at all. That's just not my cup of tea. But I do like this, and it was only $11.99, which is a good price. And I think this will be really good for travel. And then having those for, like, other situations, like... I would throw this in my bag if I was traveling and just use the glittery highlight just because it's convenient. If you couldn't tell, I really like packaging like this for traveling. So I think that is it, right? I did purchase, I'll put in another picture right here. It hasn't gotten here yet. I purchased this today. It's a ring light. So I have two like studio lights, two soft boxes, but I do feel like I'm missing light right in front of my face. So I'm hoping that'll help like the quality of my videos when I'm in my studio with the studio light so I did pick that up today as well that will be here on Sunday so I'm very excited to film videos with that as well do you guys use ring lights at home like how do you light yourself when you are doing your own makeup at home I would love to know like are you using warm lighting just in your bathroom let me know down below I'm curious but that is it and trust me I know it doesn't seem like a lot but that was a lot I probably spent like close to $500 on most of this stuff which is just painful to think about but what did you guys buy this week let me know down below I know I've asked you a lot to let me know down below but I just want to talk to you guys and respond to you so anyway that is it for this one thank you so much for watching if you guys have any questions as always please let me know down below otherwise if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me please subscribe it means the world to me and I hope to see you in the next one thanks again for watching bye bye